majority of decks in Vanguard Zero, when you take a look at them, are going to be found running a particular trigger lineup that is uh, pretty, you know, agreed to be the best of all, which is, of course, nine draw for heal, right? But there exists one epic warrior, one legendary guy, who is actually, turns out, optimally played with nine crit. And that is today's deck, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Claret Sword Dragon himself. All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at Mr. Claret, which is the third of the Shadow Paladin decks. So this one originally comes out in set three, but it's pretty doo-doo, pretty meh in set three, because it has no retire, no field control, no nothing. But in set four, it gets a very important stride and some cool support cards that, in my opinion, push it to a higher level, right? I'm not going to say to the top, but to a higher level. So... This is my Claret list. Uh, huge shout outs to Ikto for sending me a list and I've been kind of like messing around with the ratios and improving it to my own liking. So let's run through it, right? First things first, we have, of course, Claret Sword Dragon, the main grade three. He says, GB2 once per turn, you can retire two of your rearguards to give him plus 10k in a crit. Don't really use that skill very often, but Bruce, it is day. cool. And then when you stride over him, that's the most important part. Oops, come back. <laughs> when you stride over him, you can counter blast one and sort put all grade ones choose all of your grade ones from your drop zone that are not sentinels and put them back into your deck and then you can choose a grade one or lower from your deck and call it and give the unit plus 2k power and also of course he has the vanguard circle in place plus 3k so he's actually a pretty good uh stride bearer because of course he gets to search out any grade one you want and also give it a bit of power right so and you can also refresh your drop into your deck once again in order to not deck out which is very good right then as my backup grade three i run one of death spray dragon he's actually pretty good uh, i've had a few matchups where he's come in handy especially against messiah they put those awakings in the back and you can't touch them until you go into doomed this is your answer right he says gb1 vanguard rearguard circle skill at the end of the valley attack the vanguard Kalos one and retire one of your own other rear guards choose the opponent's rear guard and retire it so it's not gonna come up in most matchups but in stuff like the messiah matchup it's pretty good. I think it's a nice one of, and then we do run four of these stride of the like claret crits because they're soul, they're draw, and they're also on damage and extra draw too. So we like that a lot. And of course, heal guards goes without saying. Our starter is David, who is a four runner and cannot be retired by your opponent's card effects. But when he is retired by your effect cost as a rear guard on GB one, you can treat him as two units. So he counts as two when being retired for the cost of things like your orgizers. Then. For the grade ones, which are the bread and butter of the deck. Four PGs goes without saying, and of course, four Stride Fighters slash Claret Searchers. So there's the Branwin, also very important. But then for the other grade ones, we run one Sword Breaker that we can consistently search out, put back into the deck with Claret Skill after retiring her, search out again and keep drawing, and also emptying out our soul, which is very, very good. So the one Sword Breaker goes a long way. One of the Night Sky Eagle, this is one that I'm a personal fan of. On place, GB1 gain 4k. So it's something that you can search off of Maka to make an 11k attack that will swing with like you know an 18 with a 7k boost behind it, etc. Right? So I quite like that because this allows me to have a little bit of extension and as a one-up it doesn't really like hurt consistency too much because the main grade one like you can tutor your grade ones in this deck right the best grade one is the abyss uh summoner and he says gb1 once per turn when one of your other rear guards or when one of your rear guards uh is retired by a cost you can once per turn if you have a grade three or greater claret sword vanguard counter charge one and give him plus 3k so him plus the eagle actually makes 21 which is pretty good as well, so that's something to keep in mind. So that's the great ones, they're kind of the bread and butter. We're mostly searching sword breakers on the first right turns, and then kind of like taking whatever else we have, plus the counter charger later on. Then, for the great twos, our early game is Nemain Reliant, so Nemain is on place rear, count us one, discard one, draw two, she's only 5k body, but still an intercept, and four of the cursed lancer, which is on hit vanguard, counter charge one, so this way we can refund the Nemain immediately, just like we always have. Then, our main form of extension is the Maka, she is GB1 when she attacks the Vanguard while being boosted. You can count almost one to search your deck for a grade one and call it. And as I mentioned before, this will usually search out either the Eagle or your Counter Charger or Sorbic. Like whatever you want to search out, it'll search it out for you. And then I play two of the Gron. So why do I play Gron? This isn't Luard and Luard Loop later on. This will be pretty good. But this is at first I wasn't too sure about this, right? I wasn't too sure about it because the effect is rear circle GB1. Every time you play a grade one or lower rear guard, he gets plus 3k. So it stacks, right? At first I was like, ah, oh, is it really that good? Until I won a few games purely because sometimes you just like 
call him down, spam some grade 1s to retire for Doom skill, and then spam some more grade 1s, and he's hitting for like 26 on that column, so he's getting over the heal guards, and that's literally one me games. So, sometimes, like, having him as a 2-up just for the power buff is actually not that bad. Um, you could cut him for a 4th in the main, I guess, plus, like, people run, like, the grade 2, that like, like on-hit counter charges, like, just all the counter charges possible. You can do that if you want, but I actually really, really do like Ron, and I think it has a cool place in the deck as well. For the strides, our first stride is always going to be Aura Geyser Dragon on attack to Vanguard, counter boss 1, GP Sonoblast, Blast, and retire 2 of your rearguards to look at top, reveal top 2 of your deck and put them to your hand, and then for that turn, for every revealed grade 1 or lower, he gets plus 5k. So, just a nice little plus, which is good. And then, we have, of course, the second stride, which is the Aura Geyser Doomed. So, Aura Geyser Doomed is a GB2 now, got nerfed, unfortunately, can't first stride anymore. Once per turn, Kalamas 1 and flip a G unit face up and then retire 3 of your rearguards, so it's pretty hefty. But then, you reveal the top 2 cards of your deck and add them to your hand. If you have one or more Aura Geyser Dragons face up in your G zone, so the other one, then... Uh, for every revealed grade 1 or lower, you choose an opponent's uh, rear guard and retire it. And if you have three or more Orgazer Dragons face up in your G zone, then he also gets a crit. So when you first ride Orgazer Dragon, you have two. You go into this, you flip the third face up, and now you get both the retire effect and the crit. And then you can go into him again to flip the fourth Orgazer Dragon to get the retire and the crit. Otherwise, you go into Phantom Blaster Diablo, who says GB2 once per turn, Kalmos 1, GB Sonal Blast to get plus 10k and a crit. And the following ability, when he attacks the Vanguard, you can retire three of your own rear guards. And if your opponent has one or less rear guards, then for that battle, when they would PG, they have to randomly discard a grade 3 or greater from their hand. If they don't, they cannot PG. But if they have two or more rear guards, then you choose two of their rear guards and retire them. So basically speaking, like, if you are relying on stuff like Maka to build your board to retire, then you'll go into the PDD. But if you have nice things to retire, just go into or guys are do like that's basically how it is usually because you do follow up a lot of hand like you might be thinking why are you playing nine crit like you need to have so many cards to retire but even with nine crit i over you can overdraw with this deck you can still overdraw like you can hit eight nine cards in hand every turn pretty easily with this deck and that's why we play nine crit so that's the deck explanation claret is really fun it's a cool grindy like it's a cool deck for ladder because sometimes you just win on first try and like crit 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 on the organizer ggs right sometimes you just get games like that and it's good we take those we definitely take those all right who are we up against gear chronicle this could be a little bit tough they're very tanky going second is pretty good for us though because we get first tried to set up organizer while they're doing not much opening sword break we usually want to put it back the rest of this hand is pretty damn good though because we can basically like ride the counter charger ride this call the main to try and draw cards, and then worst case, we search out Claret with the Brandwin, so it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, Toko S leaves looking very nice, too. I appreciate the drip, very dripped out. Uh, Gear Chronicle, I do like it. The Toko S leaves took me quite far, too. Ooh, the GG. Most people play only one GG nowadays, so that kind of hurts. <laughs> kind of hurts if that's the case. Kind of hurts if that's the case. Okay, we draw into the Claret, so we don't need to worry about the Stride Fire anymore. Another Nemain has been drawn as well, which is pretty good. Um, we're going to call the David down here, though. Going to call the David down here. If we can draw into a Curse Lancer, that'd be even better. The crit, though, that's what we want to see. This is the power. The power of the 9 crit, baby. That's what you want to see. That's what you want to see in this world. The double counter charger gone as well. Out the gates. All right. Good start, if I do say so myself. Of course, sometimes giving your opponent more CB can be a detriment, too. But generally speaking, you just want to end games fast. End games because a lot of people mulligan their PGs back, right? So you want to get rid of them, you know, while they're still building up their board. Hey, we, we hit a nice defensive crit as well into another grade 2. Now he needs to trigger the pass. He doesn't. Skill difference, you know, it's, it, that's just how it be, right? You cannot be a god gamer at all times. Sometimes you just have to hold the L and understand that <laughs> some of us are built different, you know? Uh, we can keep them in the main. I'll put the Maka down, actually. I do want to keep the Stride Potter in hand for the time being. Seeing what we draw into, Curse Lancer is good. And I think I'll put them... I'll keep them in the main up, I think, just to have a Intercept. So he can't push me too much, because everyone's, like, super trigger-happy all of a sudden and, like, really pushy. So, because I can't heal out anyway, so I might as well try to high-roll a bit more. He hits a defensive, which is good for him. So here... If I hit a crit, that's like super cool, but chances are at this point I'm not gonna hit one. Just kidding, you know I'm still gonna hit one. You know I'm still gonna hit one. <laughs> my man's probably balding, he's balding, he's balding. Oh my god. 
<laughs> you know, it's just a skill difference, man. It's what can I say? What can I say? Body foo as well. Oof. Can't say that's a good one. Can't say that's a good one. All right. Can can't spin anything. I also don't have any retire this turn, so the resist doesn't mean much either. I just hope he finds uh he finds a PG this turn. Otherwise, this horgeyser is looking to be or a lethal, <laughs> lethal geyser. All right, we swang in. Oh, you know what? That one does. That one I didn't need. That crit I didn't need. <laughs> NGL for real, for real. All right, Claret Sword into Orgizer. We only have two CB, so we have to be careful with that because here we basically can't use the main because we only have we have one CB to use now for Claret and one CB to use for Orgizer unless we draw or search out. But even if we search out the counter charger, it still doesn't do that. It still doesn't work for us. So. We're gonna just use this, put the Brandlin back, switch out the Sword Breaker. The Sword Baker. Alright, with that, we can Soul Blast out the Counter Charger to put that back to deck afterwards, the next turn. That's like the magic of this deck, basically. And here we just make a board. Like, just make a board, and we just swing with the Orgizer for a nice big number. And we're good. And we're good. That's all she wrote. Alright, so. Four card hand. Gotta keep establishing this, you know, this gap as much as possible. We're gonna pop David for two here. The only sad thing is that Swordbreaker will, of course, um, probably get sent back to deck by whatever effect. Ooh, we hit a grade one and a grade zero, so that goes up in power, which is good. We're getting close to the double heal guard range here. Don't hit it though. Okay, he PGs it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So next turn. Next turn. Uh, we need two CB technically to be able to use Claret and the Doomed. So I'm assuming he'll get pushed a little bit, but he needs a main phase, main phase rewind. <laughs> Mystery flare might do it. That's I, I respect that. I respect the choice. I respect the 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 guts. You know, I respect the guts. Okay, he puts the Kronjet in, puts the body foo under. Okay, there's the main phase, and he has the counter charges in the grade one too. That's gonna do it. He's gonna be still up at four. That's good. I just want two damage, that's all. I just want two damage. Alright. Come on. What's next? <laughs> What's next? What do you have planned in for me? Someone in chat asked, does the deck work with two Orgizers? No. You need four. You genuinely, like, uh... Oh no, he's only giving me one damage? Is he listening to the stream? No, he's listening to the stream, I don't like that. <laughs> Alright. Unless he hits Mystery Flare. Oh, just hit the crit. Come on, easy. Okay, two damage still granted to me. Thank you very much. I'll take that with open arms. All right, does he hit the Mystery Flare? Does he hit it? Let's see. Count us four. He does not. And the heal goes back. That's good information for me as well. Good to know. So I just need to hit one grade three here. I mean, one grade one, basically, from the Doom. So let's go into it. I don't have a Stride Fodder. Jesus Christ. Okay, Um, we're going to put these two down, I guess. I almost want to put the PG down, but I need every CB I have right now. So from Stride, I'm going to pay the hard cost. I'm going to pay the hard cost and just go ham. Green eggs and ham. I'd rather get rid of a heal than get rid of a PG, you know? That's kind of just how it works. <laughs> That's how Mafia works. All right. I think we need to call out the counter charger as well to have the juice for later. So let's get the counter charger out here. Whoop. Come on out. Kushinkron. All right, so with this, I think I'm going to call down a heal as well. As odd as it may seem. Or I might even kill two heals. It seems weird, like I'm going crazy here, right? I am going kind of dummy mode, but trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> trust me, it's worth it. We're just so far ahead. I just want to push. I just want to push, you know? All right, so here we go. Camas 1, retire 3. Ooh, we draw some cards! We do be drawing some cards, though. Goodbye to the field. Hello to the crit. Hello to the counter charge. And the power. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, with this... Let us swing your Rooney. Give me the 15 here. The heal guard comes out. If I check one trigger here... Ah, oh, no, no need, no need, no need. There's nothing to retire anyway. If I check a trigger, I can put it to the curse answer and that hits for good number. Ah, the crit! No! In the main. Grade one. Huh. 
PG? Does he have another heal guard? He does! Ah, yeah! Okay, 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 okay. It's not over yet. One card in hand. You could still make a miracle happen. You could still make a miracle happen. Whereas for me, I think next turn I just go for Phantom Blaster. <laughs> probably, probably. Okay. He's thinking, which means he has Stride Potter in hand. He has Stride Potter in hand. What will he go for? Ragnarok I'm fine against. I do lose the Curse Lancer here, which does hurt. Ragnarok will also clear one of my other rears. Next stage doesn't do anything here, so I think he has to Ragnarok. I think he has to Ragnarok. He does need the Chrono Luck, yeah, that's that's a good point. Alright. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Does he run a second Mystery Flare? Does he go for like Chrono's Command or something? That would be kind of annoying, because then I don't really have Retire Cost. I don't have the gas to retire. Memes to Reflare. But he already played one, right? Does he have a second? He's thinking about it. Ooh, Hard Stride! That's not an X-Age, that's a Fate Rider. Interesting, so that can search out a grade 1. We're gonna bot deck the Curse Lancer first. What did he draw? If it's a grade 1, he can convert it into a resist. Which would be good. But then I can go into PB Diablo and just like have, you know, have a have a good time. Have a grand old time. Okay, oh, grade 1, okay. He might have... Thing is, this grade one will be powerful enough to hit. So he's gonna try to go for lethal. Yep, it's gonna swing for what? No, it's only 10, so he needs to call down something. That doesn't feel like it. He gets a draw, that might be what brings him victory here. He just needs to hit my rear. He wants to just protect himself, which I completely understand. We hit a defensive crit because we're really good at this game. Let's go! Okay, okay, he gave. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad. That was that was definitely on the uh, the high rollier side of, of things. That's that's for sure. That's for sure. All right. It's is it the same person? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's, not. it's Saya. Let's have a good one. We're going first this time. Going first definitely doesn't. Even though with the extra draw, it doesn't feel anywhere near as good because you have one less attack <laughs> to sack a crit early. Uh, Bird can go back. Maka can also go back, to be honest. We need to hit the main. Swordbreaker, we definitely don't want to ride, because that's like... We don't have a way to Soul Blast. Literally, the only Soul Blast in this deck is Swordbreaker. <laughs> that's our only way. So, oh, no! Yo, okay. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Alright. Nihao, my friend. Joe Roshku. <laughs> Everyone's using the beautiful sleeves. I need to cop more of them. They're really pretty. The, the ending ones, they're super pretty. I do admit they are a beaut. Oh, I respect the starter too. This is definitely the starter for, for uh, Kronja right now. Because it has many, many good uses. Alright, go Curse Lancer. We go into main. Put the Swordbreaker to the drop. And then we can draw. And then we can push. It's nice. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. With this, with this, we hit for 12 here, so we can basically like hit with a curse lancer first, a CC for sure, and then if he doesn't hit defensive, we push a second damage, which is also good. He doesn't, so we still push a second damage, which is very nice. A very nice. Okay. Two damage. GG gone as well. Again, most gear lists play one GG, two at max. So I'm not expecting to see that come up again. Oh, responding, okay. Responding to the aggro. See, I can aggro because my deck just draws a bajillion cards, you know? No target for the Draco Kid. Unfortunate, but that's how the cookie crumbles, you know? That do be the crumble path of the cookie. Okay. He hits and he gets a CC. I hit the wrong defensive crit, but it's okay. If I can hit an offensive one, that's even better. That's not a bad draw. That's not a bad draw. Because we can clear our front row now, so it doesn't get taken out by Chrono Jet. So that's good. Let me just push like this. If we hit a trigger here, that's good. If we don't, whatever, it's fine. Right, give me the draw and the soul. Take that too. Draw into Curse Line, so that's also nice. Crit has been found. It's gonna be two damage at least, unless we check another one. Of course we do. Go to five, baby. Go to five, my friend. That's exactly where I need you. That's exactly where I need you. I checks the heal. Man, it feels just like TCG, man. 
Crit, crit, GG, shake my head. <laughs> it feels just like the TCG, man. I wish crits were better in Zero. You know, everyone asks, like, oh man, I wish, I wish Zero felt more like the TCG. And it's like, yeah, it, it, it would. If draws weren't the best trigger. <laughs> okay, he's gonna spin David for sure. He can spin both with this. Lost Age isn't too bad right now, though. Lost Age right now in this meta. Has some cool targets. Ooh, not using Corner Jet. That is interesting. Oh, he's gonna... Okay, 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 okay. He wants the CC from it. But then if he heals here, the CC goes to, like, for nothing, basically. So this is an on-hit David. What if I hit, like, a over-trigger and he can't hit this <laughs> with his with his child anymore? Oh, PG. Okay, PG's gone. Double PG's gone. Okay, okay, okay. That's vital information. We take the download like that, and we do take the download. All right. Word in the main, too. All right. All right, guys, well, let's go. I don't have a stride fodder, but that's not a problem, necessarily. Uh, in the main, we'll have to do some work. I want to keep the Cursed Lancer, but he's not that important. Yeah, let's struggle stride. Let's struggle stride. I think Claret only calls grade 1s. I'm pretty sure he doesn't call grade 0s. I'm quite positive he doesn't. Alright, let's put the Swordbreaker back. Does he? Oh, he does, huh? I guess that's a play. But then I can't... Um, hmm, I'm thinking. I guess that might be better. Technically. So we can just make a column with Nemain here. Discard the Curse Lancer. And then just retire what it like just a David here. Let him put my Nemain back the deck, I guess. I don't really mind. Or we can just swing for lethal too. How many heals do I have left in deck? Three. Don't matter. <laughs> don't matter. I think. How greedy am I? I'm, I'm pretty damn greedy. <laughs> swing this damn deck. I don't want to believe in the sack, you know? Having to check one of my four crits and 20 cards, th those chances aren't very high. But just randomly winning? That sounds like a high percentage chance to me. Yeah, it's like, oh no, my starter, anyway. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. Take a damage. You get a heal, okay. Oof. You're forcing out my full potential over here, man. You're forcing out my full potential. I don't know how I feel about that one. Here it comes. My full potential! Oh. Alright, the heal's cool. But now show me a crit. Come on. My full potential. Damn it. Oh, I had to hold back. I had to hold back. After after making the last person quit, I had to hold back. We can't we can't be going sicko mode every game. <laughs> we can't be going sicko mode every game. I'm down to three though. It's pretty good. It's a good position to be for me. Alright. Ragnarok. I have a PG in hand, so that's fine. He will push me to four here. He'll push me to four. Uh, Claret is awkward. If he doesn't commit much to board, I might just go PBD. He committed. He committed Carson. Wait a second. Wait a second. This looks like a PBD to me. This is still a PBD. Still a PBD. Because I just clear out the intercepts and then swing, he can't retire. And if he doesn't check some cool cards here... I'ma be champ chillin. Come on. Can I be champ chillin? Draw is... Okay, I guess. Okay. We go for the Diablo here. Five grade threes are out. I'm willing to believe my chances are good. I'm willing to believe. I gotta believe. Come on. We got this. We got this. We got this, bros. All the curse lands are too. Alright. I think I still have a Swordbreaker I can call out. So that'll draw me more cards. For the gas. Let's go. This is a gas machine. This is a gas machine. Alright. Let's put the counter back into the deck later on, too. Drawing to heal, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Um, let's activate this before we forget. I don't need to overcommit. Why am I calling so many things? I could have just called this. I need to retire three. That's why I'm calling so many things. I want to keep my intercepts up, so I think I'm going to call down the crit here, too. 
Yeah, let's just do this. Let's just do this. And this way we force out two cards from hand regardless, right? Yeah, Diablo's violence, Diablo. <laughs> okay, retire three. Goodbye, crit. It's been nice knowing you. Thank you, Swordbreaker, for the card draw. I'll see you next turn. <laughs> Come on. It doesn't really matter what we check here. I mean, the crit is cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Diablo, he's out here. He's in pain, bro. He can't, can't even walk. He can't even look at you in the face. He can't look you in the eyes. Claret, on the other hand. What can I say? That's, that's, that's what I call the real Giga Chat deck. That's what I call real fun and interactive gameplay. <laughs> look at this, man. Look at this. This is the power of Yoasawa to me. I wasn't even using the Kanzaki skin. Imagine if I bought the Kanzaki skin. I I'd be quad critting everyone. They wouldn't even they wouldn't even breathe, man. This would be terrible. This would this would ruin bro, if I bought the Kanzaki skin, I would actually ruin the game. They would tell they would ban me. They would straight up ban me. They would straight up send me an email telling me stop playing the game. Stop using the Kanzaki skin. We can't take it anymore. That's why they didn't buy it. I had I had to look out for my people. I represent this community. I, I can't do it to him, you know? So there you go. That's Claret. It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's a pretty good time. That's the deck and fight. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the last of the set three decks as well. Of course, this contains set four support because the deck in set three is pretty bad. But in set four, as you can see, it's a good time. So yeah. Uh, the deck is really fun. I hope you enjoy playing with it as well when set 4 comes out in English. And if you're playing JP, then right now. it The one thing is that you do need these GRs. Like, 4 Aura Geyser is a must. Because, like, the deck literally... Like, I guess 3 Aura Geyser or 1 Doomed can work. That's a way. Like, 3 Aura Geyser, 1 Doomed does work. And then 2 PBD, and then 2 of whatever else, I guess. Like, another 2 PBDs are, like... Green Recruiter plus Harmonics, but you don't really need the Harmonics because you can just retire your own front row against Link Choker matchups to not give them the targets, but yeah. So anyway, with that guys, that's going to be it for this deck and fight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please do like the video if you did enjoy it, and of course, do subscribe to the channel too. But that's basically it. We have the Twitch chat here saying goodbye as well, and that's going to be goodbye for me as well. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.